Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my makeup collection and storage and I'm going to tell you where I got all my makeup from for your future needs and um, where I got my space savers from too. So let's just jump straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually going to be this. And this is just my everyday makeup box that I pick up every day, put on my bed, to my mirror and I do my makeup. So I have all my brushes in here, all my powders, my primers, foundations, and mascara. Um, and it's all in this box which is really cheap and I only bought it from Primark for around about 3-4 pounds. And I've had it for quite a while now and it hasn't broken, it's in really good condition. So in here, I have my setting powders, my eyebrow powders and my contour kit. Also I have fitted not one but two primers in here and these are the MUA Pro Base Moisturising Primer which are very sticky on the skin and I really recommend. I'll be using these in mostly every video. <laughs> and then we have a perfect slot for your foundation and I use the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 100. And then I have more room for my Rainforest of the Sea by Tarte in the shade Fib. And then I have two other concealers, which is the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealers. And I have this one in Fib for my under eye, and this Contour Concealer in Tan Sand. And I have many more products in here, but I'm going to show you guys the more exciting things, like my eyeshadow palettes and my single eyeshadows, etc. So other than my brush set in my everyday makeup collection, I also have this which I bought from Boohoo quite a while back and they're all in good condition and not broken yet. So um, these were around about five, six pounds from Boohoo and they all, I don't really use them that much. I just bought them because I thought I need them but I really don't. But I have tried them out and they come in all different sizes. And this is a foundation brush and the bristles on it are really soft and smooth and it does apply foundation really good but you do need to go over it with a beauty blender at the end so you don't have all those brush streaks on your face. So they go from big to small. So you have an eyeliner brush in here if you want to use that eyeliner, a contour, lipstick and um, whatever you use this for. I really don't know. I just use them for what I, I want to use them for, what I personally think they'd be good for. Next I have my collection of beauty blenders. So the two I'm using at the moment are the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge which looks like this for my foundation and I have a micro sponge for my concealer um, that looks like this. And I have recently purchased this which um, I think I got around um, December time and it's the Real Techniques 6 Miracle Sponges. So you have a beauty blender in here, two of them, and you have one contour blender which is a really weird shape if I just get out for you guys it's a uh, neon pink and it looks like this is really odd so that's a contour I guess and that's for your nose and this is for your um, cheekbones but I've never used that yet and then beneath that we have three micro sponges which are the exact same to this one the same texture and do the exact same work but these have a flat edge to get right under your eye. Next I have all these um, decorative eyeliners and stuff for your eyes. I would say decorative because they're glitters, colourful eyeliners, glitter glue and stuff like that. So this one, first of all, I'll start off with the colourful eyeliner. This is the NYX or pronounced N-Y-X Cosmetics. Vivid Brights and I got this in Vivid Violet and it looks like this and it's just a um, it's just a liquid eyeliner and it's purple and it has a really thin brush if you can see that sorry if you can't and I'll just apply this to my hand for you guys so it is a super vivid eyeliner it is very purple I usually use this in around the summertime because that's when all the colours come out um, then I have these two eyeliners which are from Maybelline New York and I have them in dark green and dark blue and these are pencil liners like a crayon so you can twist it up to get more product out 
and I'll just swatch that for you guys again. So this is a dark green, and this can be used for your waterline, um, actual winged eyeliner, and this is the dark blue. They are on the dark, darker side of things, so these are the more autumn-y winter colours. So there's those two right there. I have my NYX Glitter Primer Glue, and I could do with a better glitter, so if you guys have um, a recommendation or you use glitter yourself, because um, I have loose glitter, and this doesn't do the best job, not gonna lie. I don't really recommend this to any of you. I, am, I have a feeling there's better glitter out there. Next I got this which is, I do love this a lot, I don't use it that much but it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and it's a crayon and it's in Peacock 632 Peacock and it looks like this, it's in a white packaging it's a bit dirty, sorry about that and it's a lovely turquoise colour so I'll swatch that for you guys as well also you can bring it up so that's just a really pretty turquoise colour right there and this does last all day long, you can put this on your waterline, on your eyelid and it can even be used as an eyeliner if you have a really thin brush to apply it with so I definitely recommend buying this, it is amazing and it comes in a range of colours, I'm pretty sure like pinks and purples but this was my favourite Next we have our liquid glitters, so I have a golden glitter with black within and it is from Maybelline New York and it's called Master Ink Glitter and the packaging is like this, it's pretty small but it lasts quite a while the black part is the only part with the glitter in, that is all the brush let's watch that for you guys it's pretty a bland boring colour, doesn't have much glitter to it, I hardly use this um, it's just like a bit grey with some gold glitter in. I don't recommend this. Maybe mine's just a bit old and I need a new one but the day I got it I wasn't that impressed. There's probably better gl gold liquid glitter out glitters out there so if you're looking for the more dark subtly look just upon top of eyeliner yeah this would work perfect. And then we have this from collection which is called the Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner and I got a colour in one glitz which is silver and five at Freak in a colour turquoise and these are beautiful actually today I used um, this silver these are amazing, they do last all day on your eyes and they're just really vivid and amazing so these are them in the colour silver and turquoise and I do recommend buying, they come in different colours in collection I think there's four overall, I'm not sure but I recommend buying them and they look like Next guys, I will go in with my lipsticks. So my lipsticks and lip liners actually go in the same area as each other. And I just store them in like this little tin. But I couldn't find anything that would fit my lipsticks perfectly in stores that are in my price range. So I just found this tin and now they all fit perfectly in there. And I'm just going to show you all the lipsticks I own. And I own, honestly, for someone that's not that much into lipstick, I own quite a few, <laughs> but it's getting matte lipsticks. So we have the matte lip liquid lipstick in the shade Candy K. This was actually my first um, lip kit from Kylie. I got it especially for prom. I wore it on prom, I felt really good in it. I smelled good, so I could smell was that coming off my lips, the cupcake smell. I have loads left and I've had this since, when was prom? Two years ago, I've had this for two years now and it's still full to the top. Um, once again, it smells like cupcakes. Kylie has changed the wand. I think she's done quite a longer wand because that is really tiny. But this is Candy K. Skin tones on me, it comes up way darker than this because of my pale skin tone. And then we have the Malibu, and then we have the Malibu Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this also smells like cupcakes. Um, the wand is the same because these two came out around about the same time, so I'll just do that. And this is a, and this is a brown color, so a brown shade like that. 
two favourite natural nude lipsticks from NYX and they are the soft matte lip creams so I have one in the shade 16 and it's a natural really light peachy tone um, I'm not a fan of the brush they use in NYX um, for this lipstick because it really just it clumps up all the lip lipstick and then we have this shade in 09 and once again it clumps up all of it and this is like a dark nude this is and I'm actually wearing this today so that looks like that so next we have the brand Gosh and the first shade I'm going to show you is a matte and it's in 10 and it's named Smoothie it looks like this and this is a lipstick out of an actual old lipstick case and I'm way down this is a pink colour yep it is and then I'm going to show you the other matte lipstick in 160 Delicious and I think this is a lighter tone of pink it is and I'll do that right next to this one and that's I wonder if you can see it the one underneath that one and when you apply it it's really smooth on the lips and it doesn't feel crispy it feels kind of hydrating so for eyeshadow palettes I'm going to start off with my revolution palettes so in my very first video I actually used this and it's the revolution fortune favors the brave case dirty gold case and you open it up it has a big mirror in and oh a brush fell out and it did come with a brush a sort of a blending brush on this side and a flat brush on this side to apply the glitters with I'm guessing and all these colours are really beautiful I hardly use this side I usually stick to the lighter colours like the pinks and the golds and the browns next we have the revolution love the revolution palette and it looks like this and there's a cute little heart in it comes with a brown shade a red shade a cream black a, ooh, a bronzy gold shade and a pink shade and those two are glitters and this in fact is a highlighter and I'm using this highlighter today if you can see that it's a very white icy highlighter next we have the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow palette which is this and I love it so much it has eight highlighters in all together let me just say this now eight highlighters for around about seven pounds in a different brand eight highlighters would be around about 12 quid or maybe more, probably more. Definitely recommend buying this. The highlighter it gives you is so glowy and perfect. So definitely this is worth the buy. Next I'm going to show you my MUA Makeup Academy palette. And it's called a Burning Embers palette. And it looks like this. This sadly doesn't have a mirror in. Overall it has 25 colours in. All, di all crazy different shades. Loads of glitters. Hardly high pigmented and just they last all day long and the rest are like orangey brown pinky tones um this palette is worth the buy again like i love all my palettes so i'm gonna say all of them are worth the buy but if you're more of a colorful person you could do with like lime greens and bright purples they do sell that as well i just went for this one because i was too afraid to buy the other one <laughs> Next we have this palette which I've never heard of this brand before it's called I don't know how to pronounce this so I'll just put it up here um, The All Life um, I don't know where it's from but it's cruelty free Oh! Oh I have a little link so I'll put, Oh I have a website so I'll put that down below for you guys Duh. And it looks like this and it's a Go Glow palette and it's the illuminating kit and it's so pretty, it is actually, never had a palette like this, it reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, never owned it in my life, but it reminds me of it when you open it up, you'll see now. So when you open it up, it looks like this, Anastasia right there. It looks like this, and we have Bonbon, Delicious, Hot Cocoa, and just Cocoa. So all of these actually, I didn't, I never realised that was called Bonbon. But all of these actually smell like the sweet bonbons. Pretty sure it's a Welsh British sweet. If you've never heard of it, try them. They're amazing. Preferably in the colour, preferably in the colour pink. That is like a bubblegum flavour. Mm. So good. 
and they smell like bonbons and it's a very really subtle highlight so I use those three on my cheekbone and then I went over with the icy colour from Revolution but if you want to start a highlight this is what to buy and if you want to smell good along the way this is what to buy. Next we have Eye Magic which guys you are going to look so forward to these palettes because I had these for Christmas and I'm in love but the Eye Magic um, palette I got first has one has five colours in and it's a silver um so like a silver theme I've never had silver glitters or even eyeshadow before so these are the beauty glitters and if I just open it up I'm not gonna swatch them because it gets everywhere and it's really hard to swatch without glitter glue so it comes in all these shades so it comes in a light silver a gold a dark silver a navy and a black and oh my god the shine on these guys you don't even realize so if you can see that it is glowy it is glittery and it's worth the buy and I think it's about six seven pounds from iMagic once again the link will be below and next we have my two favorite palettes they're so pretty and I'm actually gonna like shine a torch on this just to add a bit more effect these two palettes they are so pretty and they are from iMagic again and they are gold and they just glisten uh, as you could tell I put the little torch on them just to enhance the effect I'm going to do it again just to show you guys how amazing these palettes actually are so it looks like this they're so pretty so I actually got two and it's called the iMagic Pro Professional Cosmetics Beauty Glitter Palette Right, I don't know which one this is. Okay. So the first one we got is like really colourful and I'm not sure. Oh, it's the O2 and it's really colourful. So guys, just wait. That's what it looks like. All these beautiful glitters. That's the one. The next one is this again, same packaging and it's in shade O1. And this is a more subtle palette for like kind of like an evening out sort of look so it has like a dark pink light pink a dark emerald green dark gold a navy blue glitter and a light gold and this is just the most subtle palette if you're into your golds and browns so that's that and I love these palettes recommend buying but you need a good glitter glue for these glitters to stay on your eyes it is very hard to apply when you don't have a good glitter glue that's why I'm asking you guys to kind of help me out you so I've got my Kylie palette which is the bronze palette had it for years it's never broken people always complain about it breaking but I guess I'm pretty lucky when it comes to that so it looks like this it's pretty small and it's just pretty cute it's like a travel bag sort of palette when you open it up it doesn't have a mirror in sadly and it has all these shades I and it's just a bronze palette it has um deep oranges, deep browns and a light colour up here which is really pretty and I recommend buying if you're into these palettes again it's just gorgeous, I mean look at it it's a really pretty cut palette and then I have the Kylie Jenner peach palette which I got in the summertime and it's a bigger palette so if I compare sizes next to each other it's like another palette bigger so it's that much bigger and the product in here would last longer than the rest so it has a mirror in and it actually came with a brush that I'll show you guys it's a mirror in and it actually came with a brush which um, I hate I hate the Kylie brushes so much they hurt so much on my eyes I had to buy a new one this is the brush it came with it's so rough it hardly blends first of all second it hurts my eye and third all the bristles fall off so I'm just done with this brush I don't use it I just have it for spare just in case and it has these cute colors in which um, are basically sun summer colors and it has a few glitters in here like this purple and this color and um, this is like a summer palette so I suggest you buy this in the summer springtime we have my Kylie pa my Kylie collection but I very much doubt you guys want me to go through that again 
seeing as that was my last video. So if you want to see what's in this gorgeous pink bag, go to my last video and check it out with an included tutorial of... Let's start off with the brand Kiko. So the first colour I got is a yellow high pigment, so high pigmented, gonna swatch these, um, colour. And it's a single and it looks like this, it's, so, it's just so pretty, so if I just swatch that on my finger, it looks like this. Just a high pigment yellow, so gorgeous. Then we have a high pigment orange, which is like this, same packaging, oh sorry shade 19 and the shade 20 and this is the orange which I'll put my finger again these two actually go really well together so that's the orange colour guys that is the end of my makeup collection and storage um, all the links will be below for you to find your own makeup to have a little shopping spree and spoil yourself in the future like if you want to buy these you'll have to order them offline but I'll have all the links below for all of that, all of that, those details. If you like this video click that subscribe button below, if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if you have any queries or questions comment below and I'll make sure to answer them and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!